Hey guys, so um, I'm back with another get ready with me sort of tutorial thing. Um, I'm going to hop right in with priming my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, blending it in with my finger, then going to set it with a powder from the Ulta Contour Kit. Now I'm taking this taupe color and I'm just going to put it in my upper crease as a sort of transition shade um, and I'm just going to keep blending and blending and blending. That's the key to good makeup. Just blend it on out. Next I'm taking a dark gray color um, and I'm just going to blend that as well. Just keep blending and making sure it's a seamless transition from the taupe to the gray so that I can later add black. Now with the black, a little bit goes a long way, so I barely tap my brush in there, and I'm just taking my time to blend it out, making sure it's not patchy or, you know, any harsh lines or anything, just taking my time and making sure um, I get it into the actual crease. So now I am just cutting the crease with some concealer and a flat liner brush. Um, I'm just making the line really crisp so that it'll be defined and you know there will be a clear difference between the lid and the crease. Um, I'm going to use this also to shape a wing so that I have a guideline when I use my eyeliner. So I did lose the clip of me setting the concealer on my eyelid, but I did set it with a light color um, so that it wouldn't crease later. Now I'm using a eyeliner brush and some black eyeshadow to further define the crease and make it a little sharper. Now I'm just going to do my basic wing. What I usually do is draw the wing portion, then draw the rest of the shape of the, the eyeliner and fill it in once I have the shape. I am a little bit of a perfectionist so it takes me a while to get the wing the way I want it to look but for beginners I would just say practice makes perfect the first time you definitely will not get it right. Now I am doing another wing with white eyeliner this is a NYX liquid liner. Um, I'm just doing the same basic wing just making it smaller and thinner and really close to the lash line.
now that I've made a total mess, I'm going to cover the white eyeliner on my lashes with black mascara. Um, and then that'll also help prep for my falsies. And here I'm just doing a basic highlighting contour. Um, right now I'm highlighting using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and a Real Techniques beauty sponge to blend it out. Now I am going to set all of that. First I'm going to set the highlighted areas with a banana powder from Ruby Kisses. I got it from a beauty supply store. Um, however, I would not recommend baking with it. It can give you a little flashback, but just using it to set and not using a lot of it will do you just fine. With the darkest color in the Ulta Contour Kit, I am going to further contour my face because, you know, I like to look a little slimmer. Um, so I'm going to use that to contour in the same places I used the dark concealer. And I'm also going to go along the jawline. Normally, I would use um, a cold pencil in my lower lash line, but I decided to use the gel liner and it lasted all day and it was also very hard to get off at night. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and blush my face, give it a little warmth. Um, I like to go just above my contour to kind of help transition from contour to highlight. Um, and I also go on the sides of my nose and around my forehead highlight. Now I'm going to use um, a cream shimmer highlight on the high points of my cheekbone. It's going to go in a C formation, kind of like it's curving up to my eyebrow. Um, I'm blending that in with my finger and then I will go on top of that with a Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. With the base of the brush, I highlight the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I use the, um, the base of the bristles because if I use the top, it'll get all over the place. Now I am just lining and filling my lips with a black pencil. Um, it will help the black lipstick last longer and it will also make it look a little neater so that it won't be all over the place.
You could also go with a lighter alternative, which would be like a nude lip or a gloss. But I wanted to be a little dramatic and use black lipstick today. <laughs> I hope you guys like this look. Um, I have some pictures at the end and my social media. So be sure to follow me on other sites and let me know what you guys would like to see.